Hey everyone, this is Eric with VBAHowTo.com and I'm coming at you with a video. I hope you're doing great. This video is about that wildly successful uh, second part, the easier version of a video I made about creating creating a table in VBA. Um, if you're getting value from these videos, make sure that you subscribe to this channel and click the like button. This video is going to show you, it's an easier, uh, it's going to show you an easier version. If you go back to the website at vbahowto.com, uh, you'll see a, you'll see, or see another video on my, on, on this channel, uh, it came up to 10,000 views, and thanks to everyone who who watched the video. Hopefully, you got value from it as well. But so this is an easier, easy. After I looked at it, uh, this is the easier version of it, and really, and of course, you need all the other things. But some of y'all need uh, need help just basically, uh, just with a basic table. So you could use you could use this and basically what it does is create a, a six fill table called clients and if I look at this uh, Okay, so there's there's no table here as you can see so I set some tables So I'm going to go back into here I got all this stuff up in here. That's a problem. So I'm going here and I'm clicking. Uh, I'm going here and my table is created. And if I go back here, I see if I press refresh, uh, clients was made. The client table was made. And here it's made. And all, here are all my six fields. So that's good. Now, how did I do it? That is the question. First, I might delete this. Yeah, I do. <clears throat> Some of y'all want to. Bishop, you could put this in your applications, and uh, and anyway, of course, it's not limited just to clients. You could make any table you want. Want to call the clients? This is making the table dynamically. Making the table dynamically using VBA code. Uh, using DDL, Data Definition Language. So, again, you can get this code on vbahowto.com. So, here are my, my fields. So, I'm starting in this procedure. Let me just go ahead and step through it. So, I'm pressing F8 here, and I'm going to create this. Here are my fields. Bang, my six fields. I'm creating a table called uh, Clients. Okay. And with six fields and there's here's my table name and I'm seeing I'm, I'm sending the result back into here again the result goes back into this value variable which says whether the creation was true or false so I and a function is basically I'm doing something I could make this in a sub procedure but I didn't um, uh, it's a function because it's actually doing something. It's creating a table. So first of all, I'm, I'm setting an error handler on er error. Go to this so I can identify what error I may have. Uh, if your fields is going to be a an array of values. Okay, I'll identify that. It's an array of six. It's my fields. Okay, and my table fields are passing to it, my six fields. And I'm splitting, this is a useful function right here, split. I like this function because it's, you can send a value, it's like splitting arguments if you send them into parameters. Uh, but that's like that website design. But but here I'm splitting up based on the comma, it's delimiting the, these. So I'm taking all everything, that's comma my six fields that are all comma separated and I'm breaking them up into six pieces so I'm particle particle bleh, 
particleizing them. So I'm destroying them. To, um, <laughs> yeah, so I'll make it to six pieces. And then, so here's part of my create table statement, create table, and the table name is going to be clients. And I'm looping now through my fields here. And um, my Varkar 150, the uh, SQL, uh, it's SQL for for a, a short text or a, a long text value. But Varkars are variable characters and of uh, 150. So it could be alphanumerics of, uh, and my size is 150. And so I'm going here and I'm adding my first one, my first field. And I'm adding my second field, and I'm adding my third field, and on down the line here, I'm going ahead and removing the last comma, I'm cleaning my string up a bit. If it finds a comma at the end, or uh, actually, I'm not doing that. I'm just uh, I'm putting a parenthesis at the end. And then, using the current database, I'm executing whatever this is. So it's a, a and you executing the SQL string. And I'm resetting my counters, and I have no error here. And so my, my function returns true. And I go up here, and bang, table created. Boom. Okay. And or if it fails, uh, table create for some reason it may fail. Uh, table creation fail. So where is my table right here? Again, in design view, it's pretty cool. Design view, I should have the size of 150. So it's a short text. Notice the field size 150. So you have a lot of control over these. You have a lot of control. You can specify various pieces and uh, uh, if you want some specifics about about these you go to like uh, another video on my site or uh, you can go to w3schools.com and find out the information here or do have various Google searches it'll all work good for you so that is my client table and creation creation of that was dynamic hope you enjoyed this video and i will talk to you soon come on out to vbahowto.com and make sure you like and subscribe to the video like and subscribe to the channel and have a great day